Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, today we will start a new lesson that is human development of class 12. Uh, before going to development, let us uh, discuss about the two concepts that is growth and development. We already know what is growth. We have many times uh, we have heard about the term growth and development. Both though it is it uh, comes with each other together but the meaning of it is little bit different do you think that both growth and development are same no it is both growth and development are different um, term or different concept you can say so let us discuss about what is actually growth and what is development and what is the difference between them now both growth and development both indicate change and change in a particular period of time that is in maybe in one year maybe two years maybe ten years or any it's there should be a particular period of time in that particular period of time the change that came to a particular component then that particular that is called a call growth in that component may be a population also a human being also a plant also an animal also anything it may be so change that comes to that particular thing is called growth also or development also that is called change now what kind of change that is important thing that brings the difference between growth and development so first is in growth change is what qualitative qualitative means numerical so we can measure that with the help of a quality um, sorry not qualitative it is quantitative quantitative means numerical numerical means you can measure it with the help of um, any number we can measure it if the growth is of height that a particular um, boy or a girl she was at the age of 10 or age at the age of five five how tall she was now how tall in after 10 years in when she has become or he has become 15 years how tall she he or she has become that we can measure with the height then weight what is the change in the weight so that weight also will be cha uh, changed in every year then uh, in um, health structure or complexion or everything there may be change all this can be measured with the help of any quantity so it may be 5 feet 10 feet we can measure it but development is not quantitative it is qualitative measure qualitative means the uh, in inner uh, you can say quality of a particular person that cannot be measured with the help of any uh, measurement Sup suppose the intelligence of a particular person the wisdom or knowledge that is inside the brain of a particular person never it can be measured with the help of a scale it cannot be said that yes he has one kilogram of knowledge no it cannot be said you cannot say he has one liter of knowledge no you cannot say so no one can measure the development that is it has no uh, unit to measure development so that is the first basic difference that it is quantitative numerical it is qualitative that is that cannot be measured no numerical next it is it can be both growth can be both positive also and negative also before uh, in the lesson um, growth and uh, population about the population composition there we have discussed about population growth so population growth we have in that we have discussed that population growth does not only mean increasing of population so growth does not mean increasing only increasing it may be increase also it may be decrease also it indicates both so it is called growth may be both positive also that is positive population growth it is increased then both negative also that negative population growth it may decrease also so similarly if you take a child as we told he um, in five years the weight he had it may decrease when he become 10 years it may be less than what he had in five years so it may happen that is in both positive also and negative also so but development is only value positive when there is positive then only it will be called development if it is negative then it will not be development that means development means going forward not coming back so if a person had a uh, new um, in the age of 10 or in class 10 he knew the things how much he knew 
so if he uh, forgot that what he knew in class 10 then it will not be called growth so this is the basic difference between growth and development that uh, it may be negative and positive both and it is always positive now if you take for example uh, the population of a particular place the population of a particular place it was uh, 100 in last year last year it was 100 or um, in 2020 it was 100 so in 2021 again the census is done it has become 200 suppose 100 population have increased now that is that will be called as growth of population positive growth of population but it is not important that if growth has taken place then there will be development also so development of that particular population of that 200 population can only be measured with the help of their educational structure their socio-cultural structure their uh, life expectancy medical facility everything if we measure then we can say something about development not all also something about its development so though 200 one, the population has become from 100 to 200 but still then you cannot say that there is growth uh, there is development we can say that there is growth but there is not importantly there is development so this is the basic difference between growth and development i hope you understand let us come to the next topic that is development of a country so we have understood about growth and development of individual or a population but as a whole about the whole country development of a country we should study what does it mean so for for many years it has it was thought that development of a country is always the development or economic growth so if the country is growing economically then that country is developed and that country is having development if it is not growing economically or its economy is becoming bad that means its development is also becoming bad so it was the basic concept that development was directly related with the economic growth so but this concept is not actually true because there are many countries in the world which are very rich but still then their econ uh, their development or is not good now then what is actually the development of a particular country what does it mean so development of a particular country the population of the particular country indicated by three important things here first is the quality of life they enjoy so the quality of life a particular uh, population of a particular country have that indicate their uh, development if the quality of life is not good that means the people are not getting good job not getting good education not getting uh, to live in a good houses not getting food to eat so all these things indicate the quality of life if their quality of life is not good that means they are not having a good life they, they don't have development next is opportunities they have so the opportunities of a particular country people living in a particular country indicate their development so opportunities means the opportunity to have education that is if there is good um, education system so in the near premises there is schools colleges uh, universities everything is there so they can have good opportunity so also they may have different opportunity um, to have work in different sector whatever work they want they can they should be able to do that particular work so accordingly to their choice they should have uh, they can take or select certain subjects to do work to do income to do uh, to study or many different choices they should have so how much opportunities they have that also indicate the development of a particular country next is freedom how much freedom they have freedom in the sense of taking decisions that if whatever decision a particular person take it should not be um, influenced by someone else that uh, compel they should not be made compelled that yes, yes, you should work like this only you should work like that only it, they should not be compelled secondly they should be free to um, take any decision there should not be any compulsion from the government side that this thing can be done this should thing should not be done this thing can be said this thing cannot be said so there be there should be freedom in every sector that is taking decision uh, freedom of speech everything 
so that is important important these three things are important which indicate the development of a country and this concept is not very new one it is uh, it is from the very past only it has been introduced the person for the first time who has introduced this that is south asian economist two south asian economists that is mahbub ul haq one person then next is amarita sen these two person has for the first time introduced this concept in uh, lieu of development of a particular country so now let us become more uh, particular that is uh, from the country's development let us understand what is human development actually what is human development because this lesson we are basically related with human development only so uh, here if you know to understand uh, need to understand here what is human development so the concept of human development was first put forward by dr mahbub ul haq so he said that uh, human development means the development that enlarges people's choice first thing people's choice choice means they should have many option to choose among that then they should have many option to choose that is if a if a particular child has um, passed uh, or been promoted from matriculation he has completed now after completing matriculation he should have many choices to take whether he will go for arts science commerce or any other discipline so when his when development will increase then his choices will increase first thing second is uh, improves that development should improve their life the life of the people development should improve the life of the people how they will improve the life of the people by providing them good jobs first thing providing them good health facilities then providing them good houses to live good education so all this thing when it will when a country will provide to a particular population then only human development will take place then only it will be said that that particular country is having human development so these two are the important thing to have human development according to dr mahbubul haq that is first is enlarges people's choice second is improves their life their life should be improved in that um, sector or in that uh, periphery only next is leading a meaningful life that is development means develop human development means people should lead a meaningful life now what is a meaningful life meaningful life does not always mean to lead a long life that is a person is having 110 years of um, life span though it is not possible at present you know the average age of people is has become 70 basically in india so still then if you assume that a person is have a person's total age is 110 years can we say that he is having a meaningful life no so um, meaningful life does not always mean to lead a long life but a life which um, he should be healthy first thing he should has good health though he is living 50 years or 60 years but in all 50 or 60 years he should be healthy one it should be healthy one that means the government should provide good health facilities where easy and uh, cheap health facilities where they will get good health uh, health uh, problems to solve their health health problems next is develop their talents whatever talent a person has he should be able to develop it he should be um, uh, there should be scope to develop his talent it is not that he will surpass uh, uh, his talent or and he will work in some other field where he has no uh, talent at all but um, against his will against his want he will work in a particular field just to earn money next is uh, participate in the society that every person should be equally treated in the society it is not that some will uh, uh, participate in the decisions of the society and some will not be allowed to participate in the decision making of the society so it should not be like that so every everyone should have the equal right to participate in the society in decision making uh, in doing work in every sector of work um, a particular person should have the uh, what called right to participate in the particular society next achieve goals so the particular goal whatever goal he has or she has she should be able to achieve that particular goal then only that particular society will be said that they are having human development then only 
um, it will be said that it is human development other than that if any development or any change in the society takes place but it will be not it will not be termed as human development so from from the above discussion or definition that is given by dr mambubul haq so we can uh, sum up with these three key points that is three key to human development so these three key points are the main important points of human development that human development only will take place that uh, the, if these three key points are there, that, that is access to resource. A person should have uh, equal access to resource. Everyone should be equally, every, ex, um, resources should be equally accessible to everyone. Everyone should have the opportunity to buy the resource. Next is access to health. Health system should be equally available to everyone easily. Next is access to education. Education system should be equally available to everyone. So these three things if it is available in um, to everyone equally then only it will be called as uh, human development those that um, that means these three things are very key to human development so in many cases it is seen that uh, people are not uh, accustomed or not uh, able to fulfill their choices because these three key points that we have discussed already these three key points are not available so the basic needs also or the basic requirements also are not fulfilled of the population so for that they are not able to fulfill their choices so if they are not able to fulfill their choices like um, having health system uh, good education good economic development all these are not fulfilled then their choices will be limited their choices will remain limited for example if you take a child of an uneducated child though he, if you want to become a doctor also but he will not be able to become doctor why because his basic choice that was getting education in at the age of uh, 5 to 12 uh, 5 to 16 that uh, was not fulfilled so the basic thing when it will not be fulfilled then his the ultimate dream will not be able to he will not be able to fulfill it similarly if a um, poor man he want to he is suffering from certain sickness or illness he want to cure himself with the uh, help of certain treatment he should he want to have good treatment somewhere but he will not be uh, he will not be able to have good treatment because he has he don't have that particular um, economic condition that money he don't have so again he he has been uh, deprived from getting good treatment because of economic uh, less or bad economic condition so in both cases if you see first one is having lack of education second one is lack of money so both are because of ha uh, not having the basic thing he is not able to get the ultimate thing that is why um, the, the giving the basic thing to everyone equally that, that only it will be called as economic uh, sorry human development then only he will be able to when he become uh, grow up he want to get the ultimate thing then only he will be able to get that ultimate thing so let us move to the next topic that is the four pillars of human development so human development can be explained in its four pillars these are the four pillars on which human development are uh, relied on which human development is relied on otherwise if these four pillars are not there then human development will not be able to survive so first one is equity now what is equity equity means giving equal access to opportunities so uh, any opportunity that is available in the country it should be equally available to everyone irrespective of uh, gender religion then um, so social discrimination and in indian case if you take then caste discrimination also so there should not be any gender discrimination, uh, religious discrimination, social discrimination or caste discrimination. So irrespective of everything, opportunities should be equal to everyone. But if you see um, in the practical world, it is not happening. It is not um, actually found in the practical world. So for example, if you take, uh, if you uh, see the study data of dropouts, school dropouts, if you see, so you will find that uh, in any region uh, which peer group student or uh, children from which group 
um, their maximum school dropout. Then we will find that in India, uh, people who are working in the primary sector or who are from economically backward um, people or a particular caste, you can say. So these uh, uh, children from this uh, society or this social group, maximum dropout, school drops, dropouts are from there only. So from that we can assume that this um, education is not equally distributed to them. So they are getting deprived of getting education. This particular community, this particular group is getting deprived of getting education. So basically they are, get, uh, they are being deprived and in future if they want to develop their children, if that particular children want to develop himself, he will not be able to develop. So this is the problem of um, not distributing uh, equally the opportunity that is available in the society. Next one is sustainability. Sustainability means to have continuity in the particular opportun opportunity that was provided. That means uh, to have co continuity means it is not enough just to provide opportunity. So if the opportunity is provided, it is provided equally to everyone, okay, but it is not continued for a very long period of time. That is one generation uh, people got it and after the next generation or the uh, generation that came afterwards, they were not able to get that particular opportunity. So that means there is no sustainability. The opportunity that was provided has ended in one generation only. So here we can take two examples. One is that uh, availability of resources in the present. If the resources that are available in the present, if we use it in abundance, it is now it is available for everyone. We, we use it in abundance without any plan, without thinking about our future generation. Then what will be the result? The result will be that that particular uh, resource will end up very soon. And when it will end up, our next generations will not be able to use those resources. So as a result, what will be the sustainability will finish. Sustainability will come to an end. So next example is that if a particular generation decides or don't give emphasis on female education, the whole generation have uh, did, uh, did not give emphasis on female education, then that female population who are now a uh, child, who are now small, when they will grow up, then though they will want to do something for the society, though they will want to do something for the country, they, uh, they, will, uh, they will want to get a good career, but they will not able to get a good career. Why? Because they were not given the basic education that should have been given when they were um, very small, when they were kids. So that is why the sustainability of or continuity of the particular um, opportunity that is created in the country is very important. There should be continuity. It should continue for a very long period of time. So next important point is productivity. So here productivity does not mean agricultural productivity. Here productivity means uh, productivity in terms of work. That is how people can work or um, productivity in terms of uh, pr um, production that is done by um, work, doing work. So um, a particular population should have that particular productivity or they should be made productive by giving them good knowledge, by developing their talents and giving them, giving them good education and other um, skill development programs. So the main um, wealth of a country is the population and so their population should be always um, enriched with good knowledge, good skills and good um, and develop um, skills and technology then only their productivity will be more and if the productivity will be good then only their um, human development will be good. So next is empowerment. Empowerment means giving power to people. So giving power to people is most important uh, for human development because people should be equally given power. It is um, 
basically depends upon the government policies how government take step to empower their people so uh, people should be given uh, power to make choices whatever choice they want to make it uh, it should not be there should not be any government policy to um, re restrict people from making choices that if you want to go to um, in the field of sports he should not be compelled to come and uh, take some other decisions so there should be um, people should be able to make choices then only it will be said that they are empowered so if we take the empowerment of whole region or empowerment of the whole country then we should take about the uh, investment of government on which field they are doing so if more investment is done in the field of education health sector that means their um, empowerment is more or good if more investment is done in other sectors than health sector then more uh, that less in uh, empowerment is done so empowerment means giving power to people or power should be in the hand of the people to make choices that no um, government or no authority will impose anything on people that they can make their own choices then only it will be said that uh, having empowerment so these are the four pillars of human development which uh, based on which human development can be uh, fully implemented in a particular country if uh, a country want to have its hum human development then they should be or they should develop these four pillars now if in india in respect of india if we discuss then we can see that here in some sectors still india is lacking behind to develop uh, among these four pillars still some sectors are still in india not well developed so we should work together to develop those sectors also or we should bring, bring this to our government concern so that those sectors are also developed and we can have a proper human development in our country.